Well, oh, 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 fix the beanie, fix the beanie. Well, 2021 is halfway over and there's no better time to make this video for what's in my camera bag 2021. I've recently been traveling every single weekend, hopping on a flight to go somewhere for work, whether it's for a wedding or for another gig. This weekend, when you guys watch this video, I'll actually be in Wyoming slash Montana doing some work out there. So this bag is gonna be coming with me for the hundredth time. And if you guys don't know what this bag is, it is the Peak Design 20 liter everyday backpack i think that's what it's called and this is the version one they don't make this color anymore which is kind of a travesty because this is my favorite color to quickly go over this bag it's strong has nice quality material it has the photographer in mind it has two pockets on the side for water bottle or tripods or any assortment of accessories it also has three shelves for you right there. I don't know if you can see, but it's perfect for three sets of cameras or maybe lenses or other materials that you may need. It has a top pocket that you could throw your iPad or laptop in and a little tiny compartment where you can throw in other tiny things like earphones, your wallet or keys. I've used this bag for an incredibly long time and it's gone with me to a lot of gigs and a lot of travel spots and a lot of airplanes. So I really highly recommend you get this. And even though you see the uh, really expensive price tag, I say it's extremely worth it. So let's dig into what's in the top compartment. So to start things off, we have the Leica M6. This camera goes with me everywhere. It is my everyday camera. It's a 35 millimeter camera range finder. So it's nice, compact, and you'll see that all the cameras that I actually have in here are all range finders. I think it's the superior way of focusing things and also just makes the camera smaller for travel. My M6 is currently hooked up to my new camera strap from Clever Supply Co. They make some beautiful leather camera straps and this one in particular has Peak Design anchor links on it. So it has that quick release system that I think is superior than all the other camera straps out there. So whenever you wanna take the strap off, you could just pop it right off and you could go a little bit more freely if you wanna freehand it without a strap bumping into your eye or into your face. The next camera I have is the Olympus Mu2. It's a point and shoot camera with an incredibly sharp lens. This camera I haven't used that much lately because I love using my Leica, but sometimes when I'm traveling, I would like to load this bad boy up with black and white film so that I can have that alternative medium. When I'm going to Wyoming, this thing will be loaded up with Ilford HP5 or Tri-X and it's nice to always have a little bit of variation in my film. It's also super light and inconsequential to just throw around in my bag, so it it comes with me whenever I go on trips. All right, to close out the top compartment of my camera bag, I have my 35 millimeter film. When you're traveling on airlines, you should pack your film in a clear Ziploc bag, take it out of your bag and ask a TSA agent to hand check it so it doesn't go under the x-ray. There's a lot of powerful x-rays in airports now that'll zap all of your film, especially the ones that are ISO 800. So make sure that you take it out and really ask for that hand check. I recently just forgot to do that and I was really scared that my Lomo 800 and Portra 800s were zapped and those are super expensive rolls but luckily for me they turned out fine so don't risk that at all and remember to pull it out I also have this nifty 35 millimeter film holder from Japan Camera Hunter. It holds up to five rolls and it's perfect for saving a lot of space because if you hold five individual rolls, those plastic canisters can just like jumble up and take up a lot more space than you think. So I highly recommend getting this and I also have this uh, bright orange rubber band around it so it's harder to lose. Plus the fitment of the lid on this case is not very good. It's very loose. So I highly recommend this product. Going into the middle compartment of the bag is my favorite camera for travel. It is the Mamiya 7. You really can't get any better 6x7 medium format camera for travel because it's rangefinder, it's light, but it's also extremely durable and a meaty grip. Attached to this camera is my 80 millimeter lens. It's perfect for landscapes and also some quick portraits. If I want, when I open it up to f4, it's so light. The rangefinder is perfect. The light meter is awesome. And the camera strap that I use for it is by Langley. And I've had this strap from 2013 or 2014. So it's been on a lot of cameras, but it is going to be glued to this camera forever because it's nice and durable. This camera comes with me to a lot of locations and I can't wait to show you guys the pictures of the Grand Tetons when I photograph it on this camera. 
And in the bottom shelf of this bag is my 120 film. It's also in a clear Ziploc bag for TSA to check it. But if I'm not on an airplane, I actually keep it in the original boxes that the film comes in because I just feel like a baller just pulling out whatever film I want from its appropriate boxes, like pulling out candy just feel great okay so my favorite part about this bag is actually the side flaps because they have a hidden pocket where you can store more things and in this side pocket right here i keep my mamiya pano kit whenever i want to switch to panoramic photos for the mamiya 7 i also keep all of my nd filters in here whenever i film on the eos r5 which is the camera that i'm filming this video on right now sometimes it comes with me on trips but recently i've been more inclined to film a lot of my things on the iphone because it's smaller it's quicker and the footage is very beautiful for what it is so sometimes the r5 comes with me sometimes it doesn't it is what it is these side flaps are perfect for storing what i just showed you right here but if you have more filters it could definitely accommodate for that and there's more side flaps over here for your ssds for your memory cards it's it's one of the greatest features about this bag period all right moving to the top pocket of my bag i carry a lot of accessories with me starting off with my Siconic light meter i highly recommend you own one of this especially if you're a film photographer you can have this for digital photography too but for film photographers if you don't have an internal light meter this will save all of your exposures and it's great for spot metering or incident metering even if you have an internal light meter having this is still very helpful especially when it's low light it's light it's compact it looks like a little pokedex it's inconsequential to throw in your bag but it's very consequential when you don't have it next on up is my anchor travel battery pack this actually isn't mine i'm borrowing it long term from my friend eric the owner of the youtube channel huga he let me borrow this once and uh, i keep forgetting to give it back to him even though i use it on all of my trips so thank you eric this thing can charge my iphone i think six times full battery so it's such a huge clutch equipment to have of course we need to have an apple product in here so these are my airpods version one these are great, but they're kind of getting buggy on me. It kind of switches back and forth between the left ear. Sometimes I hear the audio in the middle of my head, which is, I think, the right way to listen. But sometimes it feels echoey around it, so it's really glitchy. Sometimes it fails to connect to my phone. So I might have to get the version 2 or get the pros or whatever. But this is great for when I'm hiking or when I'm sitting alone at a coffee shop and i just want to listen to my music okay so this piece of equipment is new to the channel and also new to my bag it is a lavalier mic called tentacle sync track e and this piece of equipment is super helpful whenever i'm recording on the go and i don't want to have a shotgun mic on my camera or i'm recording off of my iphone this thing is so clutch because it records in 32-bit audio and long story short it's a very nerdy thing but you can't clip your audio Sometimes when you talk too loud into a mic, whether it's this professional mic or a cheap shotgun mic, when you clip it, that information is gone and it sounds horrible. But this has 32-bit audio. It's kind of like taking a raw photo. So you can't clip it. And it's awesome because I talk so loud and sometimes I lower my voice as well. So this is super clutch and it connects to my phone via an app and I can always see when it's recording and i can control it from there it is awesome sometimes i keep my laptop in here for data transfers and some light photo editing my macbook pro is very old and it's a very slow base model so i don't really carry it around with me unless i really have to and on this left shoulder strap is peak designs capture clip it's perfect for holding any camera if it has the arca swiss plate on it you could just clip it on and pull it off real quick and it just like kind of dangles on your shoulder it doesn't bounce around it's very tight and secure i highly recommend having this but also an allen key to take off and put on the arca swiss plate or the peak design arca swiss plate because if you don't have that allen key you are totally screwed it's stuck on whatever camera it has or you can't even put it on to your camera so make sure you have an allen key to go with that that's also in my top pocket too over on this side is a little small tripod and vlog pod whatever it's by pgy tech i got this off of potato jet's youtube channel if you don't know who potato jet is look him up on youtube he's a great youtuber for video stuff and also humor <laughs> and over to the other side is probably the most important piece of equipment and that is my gigantic knife oh yeah just kidding i actually never carry this on me 
if I did carry this in the water bottle pocket, this is the worst place to put a knife because someone can just pull it out and use it on me and that wouldn't be fun so that is what's in my camera bag for traveling for film photography in 2021 i hope you guys enjoyed this video you can use plenty of other bags and other fanny packs if you want to travel lighter maybe one camera a couple rolls of film can never hurt you so thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe and like this video and leave a comment down below on what you would include in your camera bag for travel and i will see you guys in the next one peace